Hey, what's up? So how do you tell how fast the computer is before you buy it? Let's say you're at the store, you're ready to buy a laptop or a computer. How do you tell how fast it is? Let's get into it. All right, so what's a little bit different about this video versus the other ones? Well, I'm gonna show you. So let's assume that you're actually at the store and you're looking at a laptop or a computer. It's a brand new model, maybe. There's no reviews out on YouTube of it. Um, you know, if you look on YouTube, a lot of the people on YouTube, they're gonna go ahead and do like Cinebench marks. Um, benchmarking and things like that. And it's gonna kind of show you relative how fast they can run graphics, how fast they can run certain programs, things like that. They're gonna give you maybe RAM speeds and stuff, but it's really gonna be kind of, you know, Cinebench and those kind of limited uh, test programs that they have out there. Um, so, you know, what a computer is actually, and whether it's a Mac like I have back here or whether it's a Windows PC, and again, when I say Windows PC, I mean, let's say you're in the market for a lot of these laptops, these like, you know, I'll show some pictures here. But basically, a couple of those laptops that are really, you know, really, I guess you'd call them budget-friendly laptops, you know, maybe they're like $100 to $200 and you want to see if the thing's actually going to run. You know, you don't want it for some basic tasks and it's such a good deal. I mean, all the specs kind of look like they're good. You know, it's an A6-something other or, you know, whatever the CPU is. You know, what is the RAM speed? You know, what is the disk drive like? Well, I'll show you how. I mean, so what I'm going to do is, you know, computers are basically a sum of all the parts. And while this, this isn't exactly what you'd want to do, um, it's not going to give you an exact answer, it will give you some ideas on how fast a CPU is relative to other CPUs. So for instance, let's say you know you can't afford like an i9 or an i7. You know, you can use this method, see what an i7 would be, benchmark it, and I'll show you here in a second how to do that. And then you'll see what your CPU would be on these budget brands, and you can see how, how much the difference is, and you can see if you can actually, um, you know, stomach the difference. Now, it's not going to give you real world results, obviously. It's going to give you something, you know, it's going to be a benchmark, but of individual parts of the computer. Like I said, CPU, you can benchmark. You can benchmark the RAM. You can benchmark the disk. And even benchmark graphics cards on top of that. And then I'll show you that in a second as well. So basically, you're going to get, you know, these sums and all these different numbers, but you can compare them relative to other things. And while it's not going to give you exactly that number, doesn't mean like it doesn't equal a speed or something like that, it will equal how fast it is rel relative to another machine or a faster machine. Or a slower machine and you can kind of do your due diligence before you purchase something so my only thing is, is I'm going to show you guys here with screenshots in a second when you see those computers and you want to buy them don't rush in and buy them unless you do these tests because sometimes they're terrible CPUs and sometimes they're good so you know there's major differences there and I'll show you some examples there as well but anyways let's get into it really quickly because I don't want this to go on forever and it's kind of a, an interesting video let's get into it all right, so let's get into this. So basically, let's just assume that you came to a site like this. This happens to be Micro Center, but you can see, you know, all different sites like this. If you go to Best Buy, Newegg, um, you know, Walmart, they all have these big, huge specials on laptops during the holidays. You can kind of scroll through, and you have it's three ninety nine, three ninety nine, seven ninety nine, four ninety nine. They all have different CPUs, but then your eye hits this one, one seventy nine. Maybe you want a burner laptop again, or one for your mom or your parent or something. You just have no idea what to do here. So look, basically, let's just click on this one to begin with. And uh, so we look at here, it's an HP, so it gives you the model number. Now you can go ahead and do definitely do some research out there, but if you just want to compare the, you know, how fast is this CPU, go ahead and copy the CPU. It's AMD A4 9125. You want to copy that, and of course you have no idea what that, you know, obviously what that is. But, but basically go ahead and, and type in the, you know, paste it back into a Google search and then click benchmark after it, and then do a search for it. And the first thing, the thing that you're actually looking for is this Passmark Benchmarks. And pretty much any CPU, any any um, <laughs> graphics card, even RAM or even hard drive is going to come up with this Passmark. And it's really going to be CPUBenchmark.net is the actual link. But you want Passmark, it's usually going to say at the front. There's going to be other benchmarks in here, like Geekbench and you know other ones. But I, I tend to use Passmark for this video. I'm just going to show you this is one that's a little bit more off the beaten track. So if you click on it, what it's going to do basically in here is it's going to give you this number, which is right over here. You'll see it. It's 2011. That's actually not a date. <laughs> That's going to be a, a benchmark for the average CPU mark. Now, what this means basically is it you know, obviously gives you information about this. It says it's a turbo, it's a 2.6 gigahertz clock speed. You know, it's 15 watts. Gives you the overall rank. Gives you when you know it first saw it on the charts is quarter four 2018. 
you know, it gives you how many cores, number of cores is two, those are physical cores. So you get a lot of this information, but you, this is the number you're looking at right over here, 2011, right? Let's go back to another, uh, and we'll come back to this in a second, but let's go back to another benchmark or another laptop here just to show you. So the one right next to it's 279. Um, so let's go ahead and click on this one. And now we have no idea what this, you know, how fast this CPU is versus the other one. So copy this CPU down. This is actually an Intel Core i3-7130U. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up another window and I'm gonna paste this in here. And I'm gonna type in benchmark again. And again, up here you see it's cpubenchmark.net, passmark.net. This one is actually, um, a little bit different. It's the same, but it's going to compare a couple here. You can, you have to kind of look at the link, but this is the one you want up here because um, it's got the whole uh, CPU listed as well. So I'm going to click on that one. So look at this. So if you look in here, this is going to be the same screen that I was just looking at, but this one is 4,062. So this one's double the speed of the one I just looked up. Now the cost is more. I mean, obviously it's going to also give you, you know, it's ranking. It's going to give you when it was first seen. This is actually an older CPU. It's going to give you in the number of cores and, and various things like that. So that's all, you know, fine and dandy, but you know, you basically got now a relative reading here, 4,062. So let's go and do one last one in here. Um, just to, this is how I compare speeds of laptops. This one's, so that was 279 that was 179 this one's 599 it better better you know be a lot faster um, now granted we all know it's going to be faster if you know if you know a lot about computers it's these unknown cpus that you really want to look up but this is a you know an i5 um, it's the 10 series a 102010 u processor but just for you know kicks and giggles we're going to go in here and we're going to let me go ahead and type in this and then benchmark and we're going to run that one now here's the cpu benchmark again and you click on it it's only 1.6 but you can act and now you can see it's 8517 so basically that went way up and that's basically four times as fast as the first one two times as fast as the second one it's a 2019 core 2 cpu um, and it gives you actually a price on you know what's the best price 297 so you can start doing some comparisons you know on this system but but if that it gets a little bit better than that if you go up here to the top where it says cpu benchmarks up here you can just click on that and then basically in here you can search for your cpu model but then you can also just go right to high end here um, or, or medium range or whatever you want to do but once you go into here and let me go ahead and view zoom in so we're going to zoom in on this but basically what you want to do in here is you can see basically that this is going to give you you know the top cpu right now is at 47,000. the other one we were just looking at was 8,000. the first one was 2,000. so but as you go through this you can see this is an amd epic 7742 you can go in here and you can see like an Intel Core i9 9880XE, 3 gigahertz is 29,500. It's also $2,500. Um, but the good thing about this is you can look here, like if I go down the list, I see the highest ones here. And then I look at the price field as well. I can see that this AMD Ryzen 9 3900X is basically 31,000 benchmark, basically relative to the other system. So you can just use that as a comparison factor, but it's only $579. Look at the ones around it, 4,000, 5,000, 3,000. So you can also find budget. If you're building your own PC, you can find budget things this way as well, right there. So that's not bad at all. You can basically go down the list here and you can get into, you know, obviously the ZN Golds, you know, 23,000, all the way down to things that are more manageable. Um, like, a, you know, let's just look at, uh, let me find one that maybe someone would be buying here, like an i7 8700, 3.2 gigahertz, that's at 15,000, that's 409. This CPU over here, look at right here, it's 169, it's an AMD Ryzen 7. 2700 it's 15,000 benchmark it's only $169 so use this to your advantage if you're building a PC or just looking up all your PCs parts when you buy one of those laptops because if you go back to these screens you know and you go back here this one's really going to be slow it's 2000 so granted now if you're just doing really basic stuff that might be fine for you but maybe spending an extra hundred bucks for doubling your speed on the CPU side is also you know you know going to be sufficient for you so like now on the graphics side if this says Intel HD graphics 620 and this is 279 so you can do the same thing with graphics and use the same pass marks um, so if I go ahead and copy this and I go back to pass mark I'm actually going to go back to Google because and Google, it's a little bit easier. I always search just straight from Google. I always just type in, let me go ahead and it might go away here, but it's H220 and then I'm gonna type in benchmark. Just did that. 
There is the pass mark up here and it's all, now this is video card benchmark. So it's the same site. It's a little bit different URL, but it's gonna basically be the same site. They just changed the, the site for some reason as far as the URL, but you'll see it's the same. So right there, so that that is 935 is the benchmark on this one. And that's a graphics card now. It's not a CPU, it's the graphics card. It gives you the overall rank when it was first produced, you know, 2016, things like that. So that's, a, you know, obviously a 2016 is a couple years old and uh, it's gonna give you some information like that. So let's go back over here. So that's 279 and then let's say, you, you know, now you wanna compare it to this one. Let's, um, well, actually, let's pick one here. This is, um, let's go find a, a better one down here that we can compare it to that's gonna be different um, just to make this better. So here's one for three, 349, it's a little bit more expensive. Granted, we're not comparing CPUs again, we're just doing the graphics card. But this one's got an AMD Radeon Vega 3. Um, let's go ahead and cut that. And then we'll go back and I'm gonna put this into my system here. And now here we are at the very top. It's Passmark Radian 3 Vega 3. Same thing. It's going to be that Passmark site. Going to click on it. That's 1,065. So they're actually really close. We got 1,065 versus the 9 something. So those are going to be kind of comparable. And maybe it's not that much of a difference for you to go up on, you know, maybe maybe it's, you know, it's not worth the 70 bucks difference or whatever those two systems were. So long story short is you can get into this and you can do this with everything. You, you know, you can go right down the line and compare your CPU. Um, you know, it's got the video card again. If you click on up here, if you click on video card benchmarks, you can go in and see, hey, that's only a thousand. What are these high end benchmarks, you know, video cards doing? Oh, they're doing 16,000. So you can kind of compare yourself how you are compared to other people's, you know, systems. Um, let me just do view, zoom in again. But basically, I always use these charts as I go down. Again, if I'm building a system, I can go ahead and look at the CP, you know, the, the actual scores all in a row and then see how much basically uh, they're charging for. For instance, here's one for 10,000, it's only 209. Maybe you wanna search for a laptop that has a specific graphics card in it. Um, obviously, they won't usually have these high-end ones unless they're gaming ones, but long story short, you know, you can see how you can start using this a lot better than just using just one little benchmark because a lot of these laptops have all different things going on and they're all so different. And then up here at the very top again, there's gonna be these hard drive benchmarks. And the same thing, you can search on Google once you know what the hard drive is, if you can kind of figure out what it is in there. Sometimes they won't list the exact model. But again, you can go to, you know, this is going to be high end, best value, most common. So let's just, in this example, let's click on the most common one. And uh, you know, let me actually zoom in just one more time just so you can see a little bit better. But, but again, these are the most common. These aren't the fastest, but Samsung SSD 970 Evo Plus, 500 gigs, 24,000. Again, that's not a speed relative to anything except for relative to other things in this class. So if you look here, if you go down the list, I mean, these are all common, but if you get a, a Samsung, um, let me just see here, uh, 960 Evo 250, you know, then you're basically looking at 13,000 instead of 24,000. And the cost is obviously cheaper, but the difference in speed can be, you know, what is that, 50, 60%. So, and as you get down to these, some of these slower series ones, again, Samsung SSD 830 series, these are some older ones, or Corsair Force GT, you're at 3,000, you know, 4,000. So a lot slower. Now granted, you know, this isn't always the best thing for, for, you know, this is better for CPU, better for graphics, because on disk, you know, you can also look up the megabits, you know, megabytes per second that they actually transfer read and writes. And you can probably get more information from that and IOPS and things, but this is gonna help you with, you know, again, do your due diligence. And finally up here, there's also RAM. You can click on RAM and the same thing, if you go into here, you can, you know, top um, right, you know, top read, it's gonna give you all the different RAMs, how fast they are relative to each other. And finally, they have a new section way up here again, same spot, PC systems. This is actually, so, you know, I just said, look it up yourself, but you may actually have, you might find, this is desktops, but you might be able to find your own desktop. This is gonna give you the model number, and then what the CPU is, and then the speed of that actual whole system. And this is basically means it's the de fastest desktops. So long story short, that's all I wanted to say about this is, you know, you can use this. There's Android up here and ISO phone, but really use this can, you know, when you find these systems to, to build these things out, or if you want to buy a cheap laptop or even a mid-range laptop, make sure you're getting a good CPU and make sure you're getting something that's worth your money versus what's out there currently. And don't, you know, obviously if it's 50 bucks more and it's six times as fast, that's the one you want to look at. So do that due diligence and you won't get burned. All right. So what did you think? I think a lot of people know about this benchmarking system, you know, the Passmark benchmarking system, but I think a lot of people 
they kind of know about it, but there's a lot of people that don't. I mean, I guess this is what I'm saying. A lot of people don't know how to use it or what it's actually for. Um, they've seen Cinebench, they've seen a lot of stuff like that. They see the things like Linus, the Tech Tips does, and all those type of things. But they don't really know how to break down individual components when that's actually what makes up the computer. So, for instance, if you're actually someone that likes, you know, needs CPU for something, or if you want a fast disk for something, or if you actually want graphics for playing computers, you don't have to get this Cinebench score that encompasses everything at once. It's basically going to be, you know, something, you know, the graphics or maybe the RAM or maybe the CPU. So this will help you break it down individually. Again, it's not going to give you a perfect analysis of the computer, but it'll make you probably, you know, stop from, you know, making some mistakes and buying some really bad ones. Um, I notice a lot of the sale items that you see online and things like that, you know, it's too good to be true. Every once in a blue moon, though, you see some of the refurbished ones, and those refurbished ones have, you know, really good specs on them, um, and, and they're cheap. I mean, you could run them and you see how they are relative to the other ones. Then you see other ones that are look like they're brand new. They look like they're, you know, obviously, you know, just nice and shiny, brand new out of the box, and they have terrible specs on them, and that's why they're so cheap. So, anyways, I hope this does help people. Just uh, use your due diligence. Use stuff like this when you're actually, uh, you know, comparing systems. These are real-world examples that you can actually pull up and from people and users that have actually used this, and it's kind of a baseline meaning that you can just baseline it off of other systems so long story short um, if you guys can help me out and subscribe to my channel I would love that I make a couple videos a week and I'm trying to get to the thousand subscriber mark I'm getting so close although I'm not that close I'm in the seven eight hundreds now um, but I just need some help there to get up there so if you like the video can you just you know click the like button and also subscribe if you can it's gonna help me make more of them and uh, definitely post some topics that you want in the in the comments I'll definitely be making more technology videos I also make um, uh, finance videos and some some travel every once in a while because it's kind of some of my passions so anyways talk to you guys soon and take care bye